This is Stone Cold Export and today we are doing a side-by-side -side comparison and performance review of FSR on the Radeon RX 6800. AMD has now released their DLSS alternative, Fidelity's FX Super Resolution or FSR for short. Main difference is FSR can run on any hardware, while DLSS is locked to Nvidia cards with tensor cores. We will be testing FSR on old, not officially supported hardware later, but for now we test it on the Radeon RX 6800 running Anno 1800. I do think for now the list of supported games is about as impressive as the DLSS list of supported games when it was released. No doubt it will get better over time, but for now I will only test Anno 1800, which is one of my favorite games, it's really great. Now let's get into the side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, we are running the game with ultra settings at 3440 by 1440. I will show you two different screen captures side by side and you will have 15 seconds to decide which you think looks better. Then I will reveal the results. We'll do this with all four FSR settings and then we will get into the performance part of things after that. Alright, did you manage to guess which screen was running FSR? As you could probably tell, balance and performance took quite the hit to image quality, but maybe they can redeem themselves when it comes to performance. I tested by starting a new game and playing for about 5 minutes starting over for each run. At native resolution we got an average of 50.2 frames per second using FSR quality, we saw a 16% performance increase and landed at 58.4 frames per second average. Dropping down to FSR quality settings, we see a 47% increase in performance over native and 27% increase over FSR ultra quality. We're seeing better 1% lows as well. With FSR balanced, we see a massive 84% increase over native, but image quality has taken a noticeable hit at this point. And with FSR performance, image quality is, well, it's very poor, but performance is very good. 144% increase in performance over native, in other words, more than twice the uh, FPS compared to native. I would still steer clear of this mode because the resolution is very poor. It was immediately noticeable when I ran the benchmarking run, which was not the case with ultra or quality. But Beware, because there is uh, a thing with Anno 1800, when, you, when your city has grown quite a lot and you have quite a lot of inhabitants or residents or whatever you want to call them, uh, the performance goes from being GPU limited to being CPU limited. You can alleviate this limitation by dropping the feedback uh, quality in the settings and perhaps dropping some of the other settings so you're not so CPU limited. If you're using a weak GPU, you're probably going to be GPU limited in any case, but uh, yeah, it's something to keep in mind. If we look at this comparison, these are all the side-by-side -side comparison we had before, and these are the performance numbers in the top left-hand corner. At the native resolution, we are getting 22 frames per second, and with FSR quality uh, and ultra quality, we are around 25 frames per second, while balanced and performance is around 30 frames per second. 
so as your city grows, you become more CPU limited if you have a high feedback level, because there are more NPCs and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, that can uh, hamper the performance benefit of using FSR, but you do still get a benefit. I mean, going from 22 frames per second to 25 frames per second is in percentage-wise a, a, a significant increase. Uh, and, and so is uh, 22 frames per second to 30 frames per second. So you do still get an increase, but maybe not as much as you would have if you have been only GPU limited. Anyway, in conclusion, FSR is a free technology that enables you to boost your frame rates uh, while maintaining good image quality on the ultra quality and quality modes. Performance mode looks bad and should be avoided, and balance mode is a sort of a last resort kind of thing. We will test performance on low-end hardware such as laptops and older hardware such as the R9 290, which is a legacy hardware by now. Uh, and it's not officially supported, and we will test those in a future video, so do check back for that. But that's it for now, thank you so much for watching, and uh, farewell.